than your rag. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Uh, don't forget, we'll be, uh, I think we're going to try to take some questions from the timeline. So if you're out there in uh, social media land, please use that hashtag BET Genius Talks and hashtag My Experience. And if we get some time out, we're going to talk to you too. We like y'all, all right? <laughs> um, so starting from the bottom, now we're here. Start with you, Brandon. Uh, tell, tell, us, uh, tell us your story. How did you get your start? How did you get there? I started, uh, I used to, um, I, I still do stand up. I started doing stand up when I was like, like 18 years old, right? you know what I'm saying? And I, I came out here, I was my spring break. And I told my dad, I said, either I'm going to make it. Or I'm gonna go to college. That's exactly what I said. I said, hey, I'm gonna go. It was a bet I had. You know, I had six months to make it. And then I, I left. I left high school, and, um, and I told him, I said, you know, I, I did three minutes at the Laugh Factory, and out of nowhere, I had an agent that was for CAA. I got signed to the you know Nickelodeon deal at the time. You know, it was it was just crazy. So my whole thing worked. I worked on the stage before I did Apollo when I was like 16, and then I just. I sent my comedy tapes to, to Monica Swan, who was cast in a movie called Robots at the time. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Won't you come in for it? And they let me go, and she cast me for the part. And from then on, just kept going. Yeah. And thank God. You know, thank God. Good story. Yeah. Um, you know, in high school, growing up, I played baseball. Baseball was like my life, my everything. That's kind of what I breathe, eat, sleep. And then my family's situation, we moved around so much, and they made me ineligible to play sports, like when it really, really mattered. You know, and I kind of grew up that love, and you know, we were fun, we were family, we were just gonna grew up around music. It was just so next door, it was something I was always interested in. Finally, I started, you know, making like the hobbies now more of my, my main interest. Right, and we used to with the music and the acting, that became like my passion. Right, right, I um, think it was junior high school, like I went on an like, uh, audition on accident. My mom was like, hey, I heard this. Have some audition want to go? I was like, yeah. You know, didn't really do too much preparation because I didn't want to, you know, tell nobody because I didn't want, you know, just in case like, I did bad. I didn't want nobody to know. <laughs> and then I went, and then next thing you know, like a week later, um, I called, got a call, and they said we booked it. It was a movie called We the Party that Murray Van Peebles was directed. Right. So that was like my first thing from there. You know, people started to see, you know, you start to make a little noise and they want to see what's more. You know what I mean? So thank you for the people who, you know, give us, you know, us these opportunities to let you know, the world see us. And, you know, from there, sister. Okay. Miss Trey. Yeah, clap, clap, clap. My big break definitely was joining the cast of The Bay, which is a web series that I'm on. When I first joined, um, it was Emmy nominated, and now the show is Emmy winning. <laughs> and which is an awesome feeling because, you know, if anybody knows, I just recently started acting within the past couple of years. And I'm going up against people who have been doing this all their life, right. which is, you know, very tough. Um, but from there, it has opened plenty, plenty, plenty of doors for me, which is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And here I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah.